I'm Stacy Hawkins, producer at HCC TV. I love to learn, so I want to share my favorite free online resources for learners of all ages. This is Brainy Break. The United States began in 1776, but nations existed on this land for thousands of years before that, and their presence and influence is still felt today. The Smithsonian's National Museum of the American Indian seeks to tell their story. If you can't visit the museum in Washington, D.C. in person, you can still visit virtually. Mandy Van Hooglen, Cultural Interpreter Program Coordinator, tells us how. If you go to our website, we have several online exhibitions. Um, we also have been working really hard to add educational resources to our, our website and creating online lesson plans. We have actually a national education initiative called Native Knowledge 360. And uh, Native Knowledge 360 is really intended to bring accurate uh, resources and narratives into classrooms. And we have quite a few um, digital lesson plans that are available there. Um, these feature native and perspectives, um, videos that are accessible for students, and other kinds of programming that are um, available online, um, such as our Youth in Action program, um, which is something we just launched in August. So people can view previous conversations with Indigenous youth who are doing important work in their communities. The number one thing I would say in approaching the resources is just to have an open mind about the communities that you see represented. There's such a diversity of indigenous peoples and cultures and and we are definitely showing all of those um, that diversity um, through the materials so people might you know have one idea or understanding of of what a culture looks like or or does or or should be how they should be represented but the the goal is for us to really show the diversity of living native cultures today and and connect um, to the past as well i think that knowing about native people is important um, because it built an understanding of our shared history here in the Americas. And so <clears throat> understanding the relationship um, that exists today between tribal nations and the United States government is a really important part of, of, un of uh, understanding you know, who Native people are and the issues that are of importance to them. And um, I really feel like knowing more about Native people and Native culture helps people understand um, our broader history, um, the broader history of America, the broader history of the Western Hemisphere, and also brings an awareness to um, you know, the, the Indigenous people who are still here and are still present. For Brainy Break, I'm Stacy Hawkins.